Google to me is a great example of that. They, they're actually quite good when it comes to security. They've got, you know, their project zero and some of their other uh, security initiatives are quite good. And, and, and a lot of the products I think are plenty secure. They're just not private. And <laughs> because Google is an ad company that, that happens to make a search engine that happens to make a, a mobile operating system that happens to make, uh, you know, an online box program that everybody uses and calendars and email and all these things that are quote unquote free, you know? So I think that's kind of a, a good example of why they're not the same thing. And, and, and so anyway, you mentioned Apple uh, and Apple is. I, you know, a lot of people like to diss on Apple and I, I'm an Apple fanboy. I'll just say that at the outset. So as we go through this, we're going to talk about Apple three, right? I've been using Apple for many, many years and, and, and like it or not, I mean, Apple isn't an ad company. Now they do have a very small ad business, so they do make some money there. I really honestly wish they wouldn't. I wish they would just set that aside. It's a conflict of interest as far as I'm concerned. I wish they wouldn't do it. Um, but it's very, very small. It's nothing like Google uh, or Facebook or some of these other companies. And so they kind of have the luxury because they sell hardware and they give away their software. And so they kind of have the luxury of saying, well, we don't want your data because we don't need your data. And they, they really don't. And so, you know, from that perspective, I think Apple has a leg up because they can, they can not bother. They can, they can say they're a privacy company, but at the end of the day, they don't really need your data. So they don't collect it uh, for the most part. 